Hey what is going on guys, it's CK here and today welcome to part 5 of Forza Horizon 2 Presents Fast and Furious. It's a brand new day and I'm recording 3 more episodes, 2 for today and 2 for tomorrow, oh yes. But anyway, what we're going to be doing right now is basically where we left off last time with the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Oh hell yeah, we're just going to be drifting this thing around the Nice section right now because I've got a little something I want to talk to you guys about. Now, I don't know if you guys ever uh, or still live with your parents, I imagine most of you do. Now, currently I am still living with my parents which is pretty damn annoying as much as I love them in that, right? Um, my house isn't built the best, that's what I'm trying to say, right? And today basically my stepdad gave me a massive, massive lecture on how um, I need to get out more and stuff, if you know what I mean, like, making YouTube videos, it's kind of hard to, like, get out and stuff uh, if you don't schedule them now. Obviously, I've been doing Fast and Furious for the past few days, and I've been recording like crazy, and I've not really been getting out of the house that much, Vinino, you know, don't you dare, son of a bitch. Um, but yeah, he's basically complaining how I've not been getting out lately, so... Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever get at, like, long, long, long lectures where, like, they start repeating themselves, like, we get the picture, you want me to go out a little bit more? I'm kinda busy right now, but I will start going out. So yeah, it's pretty damn annoying, it's pretty damn annoying. Let me do the things I want to do first, then I'll go out, that's what I say. That's what I say. But anyway, getting back to the actual freaking thing. Oh my god, I just wanted to say that, I just wanted to get that out of my system right now. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments guys, can you relate to that? I think most of you can, but yeah. Anyway, today the fanboys are going to be absolutely sh we're not shitting in their pants, they'll be fucking jumping up and down because we are going to be unlocking the Nissan GTR. Oh yes. Now, sadly we cannot use the Hemi Cuda in this race. We're going to be using the Supra, so yeah, it's part two of acquiring the GTR because I've just done the, part, the first part because I know it was going to be a race. Okay, this is a straight up race. We're running against the Nissan GTR. My buddy Brian got one of these, and he says it's like driving a speeding bullet that just got shot out of a gun. So you're gonna have to bring your A game. Oh my God, he mentioned Brian. Oh man, the feels, the feels for days, bro. Holy shit. Oh my God. So who have we got in this one? We have got Tomcat again. Don't see custom up cinema. No, I versed him in the last episode. There's the GTR. Slightly battered backside, but yeah, that's what you get when you play Horizon. Slightly battered backsides. There's Andy, Woodrunner 392. Oh, yes. Now, now you know the reason why the Plymouth Roadrunner is his favourite car. But yeah, guys, last night I was actually just so bored. I had nothing really to do. I recorded some videos for today as well. Um, but yeah. I just drove around the whole map, unlocked basically everything, I've got all of the bonus signs, I've driven on all of the roads, I still need to do a few bucket lists though, so it's basically the main, like, career in the actual expansion pack, that's what I need to complete, and that's what we're doing right now, so, yeah, um, I think a few people actually pointed out that this is the 95 Supra, um, in the, the episode where I've done the Supra, so my apologies, my apologies, now, there's been a few people saying that this isn't Paul Walker's Supra, when it actually is. This is his Supra, so yeah, it's his real life Supra. Now, I think a few people might have been like, wait, that's not his Supra, and you are thinking of the one from Fast and Furious 1. This is his real life Supra, that's what I'm trying to say, so it's a nice little homage how his actual Supra is in the movie. Oh my, it's brilliant, it's really, really nice car, and that exhaust though, oh my god! It is fat as freaking Megan Trainer. Holy shit. <laughs> She's all about that bass, about that bass. No hen. I'm all about that. Raw. <laughs> that 2 JZ engine. I'm only joking. Megan Trainer isn't that fat. She's curvaceous. She's nice. She's okay. <laughs> anyway, come on. Cue the power. We have got Noss in this thing. Now, I think Fail Race pointed us out. I was watching his video that when you hit Noss. The screen just goes like supersonic, not the car, if you know what I mean. Like, watch this, watch this. Right, you see what I mean there? We hardly moved at all. 
It's, it's quite weird. It is really, really weird how you're using NOS and it doesn't really affect the car. Oh god, we're not going to win this race, are we? We're not going to win this race unless we just NOS it. NOS it good. Nope. Well, it said beat the GTR, didn't it? It said beat the GTR, so you never know. That was some sick driving on your part. Can't believe you took down that GTR. Oh yeah! <laughs> we didn't even have to win that race, so we've got the GTR. Hell freaking yeah! Okay, so this suddenly came up. Forza Hub Reward. Now, this might be because I have actually found all of the bonus signs. Now, it did say once I found the last one, I expect to see a special reward in my actual Forza Horizon 2 garage. Now, I want to see what it is. We're celebrating 10 years of Forza. What the fuck is that? What? What is this? Holy shit! Oh, this is fucking epic. Fast and Furious. Where's Forza 6? Your Forza accomplishments. Oh, that is awesome! That is so cool, man. It's telling you all this, the points and everything. I don't know if you guys have got this yet, but hot damn! Hot freaking damn, man! I want to see the car. What's the car that we're getting? Really? Really? It's just a hurricane? Come on, man! Come on! I was getting so fucking hyped about that. I thought it was like the Dodge Charger you can get in Horizon 2. Oh, man, I've got like six hurricanes. But thanks anyway. I'm not freaking... I'm not... Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the word? I can't remember the fucking word. But anyway, yeah, let's get back to the game. Yeah, I'm not ungrateful. That's the word I'm trying to look for. So I've got like seven hurricanes. yippee ki -yay! Anyway... This is the GTR, guys. Oh my god. I mean, I'm trying to look at what has been done to this thing. Obviously, it's got a carbon bonnet. It kind of looks like it's got a new front splitter. The spoiler strangely looks a bit different. Uh, the trunk, or the boot, as we call it in the UK, has been blacked out. And I think it's got, like, yoke rims or something. I don't know what make they are, but it does kind of look like yoke rims. But yeah. She's one sexy motherfucker. Oh, yes, she is. Oh god, two wheel in it two-wheeling it down here, so it's a GTR. We've obviously got to get it on a straight to see how good this acceleration is. Yeah, I'm kind of taking it easy in this episode, guys, so don't expect to like, a lot of races to happen. We're going to have a chilled back episode on a Saturday night. Oh, yes. See, three, two, one. Godzilla! Oh, my God! Oh, this thing is accelerating like an absolute peach. Oh yes it is, uh-huh. Don't know why I put the freaking posh accent on. Oh yes, one of these accelerates very, very well. Oh my god, and he drifts it into the side of the garage, smashing a plant pot on the way. See if, he, see if Ludacris says this is a classic. Technically it isn't a classic yet. The Nissan GTR. These things are faster and faster and faster still. But what? What? <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? These things are faster and faster and faster still. That makes no fucking sense, man. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. But oh man, the reflections in this thing. I mean, it ticks all the ticks all the boxes for me. It's blue. Daba dee ba da die. <laughs> it's got a nice spoiler on it. It's got good rims. What are the actual rims on this? GT something. I don't know what it is, but it looks hella nice. Looks hella nice. The front splitter kind of reminds me of the Nismo GTR. Don't know why, but it does kind of look like that. The speed is at 10. Holy mama. Holy mama. Hey mama. Get that beat to make. Hey mama. Get on the flow. Flow. I've not heard that song in ages. Anyway, uh, this is a tough decision now, guys. What am I going to use for the rest of the episode? My favourite muscle car of all time? Or the one that the fanboys have been screaming me to drive? I don't know. I really don't know. Fuck it. We'll go for the GTR. We'll please the fanboys so there's no hate in the comments saying, hey, you didn't use the GTR, you bastard. Okay, I've got a few new leads for you to check out. I've added them to your map. Okay. Okay, Ludacris. We've been driving up this road quite a lot. The events are always around here, so... What's this? A McLaren P1? When did the McLaren P1 come into Fast and Furious? Holy shit. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> that's the first I've ever done that. I'm going to be taking a charge over to McLaren P1. 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Don't mind me, I'm just cutting across the golf course. Tiger Woods better not be around here anywhere, he's gonna be ran over. That'd be kind of funny if it was his ex driving this car. What, too soon? Too soon? All you gotta do is beat this guy's record for maintaining high speeds. School him and he's got no choice but to race. His rep's on the line. Don't worry, Ludacris. I'm going to school him so much, he'll be back in primary one. Yeah, that is how much I'm going to fucking school him, man. Seriously. Be back in primary one. Maintain your speed for 7.5 seconds. I didn't know the guy that made this had a McLaren MP4-12C. <laughs> well, the GTR's kind of technical as well, obviously, because I know a lot of people say, oh, it's just a big modern computer. It doesn't have any soul or anything like that. To them, to them, I'm like, I kind of agree, but at the same time, I don't. I really, really don't. Nice job, man. I'm impressed. Is that it? Is that seriously what that challenge was? Just driving down a road, mashing the accelerator, and just maintaining speed? You nailed it. Now I love it. Pinks. Okay, he's got your racer pinks. Yeah, when he says he raced for pinks, why is there like other freaking people in the actual race then? So, you know what I mean by that? There's normally only two people doing a pink slip race, not like five or seven people that you get in Forza Horizon 2. Make it like just one. <laughs> you have to do like a drag race for pink slips. I wish that could come back into a game, seriously. That would be absolutely awesome. Okay then, so we're not allowed to use the GTR in this race, so we're going to be using the CUDA. Oh yes, the Hemi CUDA. Oh my god, the American Motor Beast. Oh yes, or the American V8 Motor. Oh yes, now, um, a lot of people commented on that Clarkson video that i done the other day saying that it hasn't actually been fired, they're just not renewing his contract, so... Yeah, I don't really know what the fuck's going on, seriously, so... They've said that he's been... He said that he's been sacked, so we don't really know what's happening yet, but a few rumours have been going around that either Netflix or Sky are going to be picking him up uh, and actually making a, a programme called Top Speed. Now, I think that would be a great, great idea if they got it on Netflix. I think Sky would be quite a bad idea, considering the fact that not everyone has Sky. Um, but yeah, I know not everyone has Netflix either, but... Still, it'd be great like a, like a mainstream channel like ITV or Channel 4 and that actually pick them up, but if Netflix picks them up, that'd be great, because I know millions of people watch their films and TV programs like Better Call Saul and stuff like that on Netflix, so... Anyway, who we got? We've got the Accelerator, Nukemal, and Black Panther. Okay then, yippee ki let's do this thing, hit the NOS! HIT THE NOS BABY! Oh yes, oh my god. <laughs> now in terms of the handling from the CUDA, I am very, very, VERY impressed indeed. Oh yes, I am. I mean, for a big muscle car, it's kind of similar to the Charger. I'll give him a slight nudge there. Get out of my way. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Jesse Pinkman drives the Hemi CUDA. Oh, imagine that if that was in fucking Breaking Bad. I'd be fucking wet my pants. You know that scene where Walter and Walter Jr. roll up in the driveway like the Challenger in the uh, Chrysler 300 C? I never expected that, seriously! Fucking knife party in the background and everything. Wet my pants! Oh yes, that was! With a fucking petrol head crisis. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of weird to see that in that situation where we program all about drugs and then uh, uh, teach us cancer and stuff. He's just trying to get fucking money for his family. And then you rock up. Now, Challenger 392 Hemi and a freaking 300 CSRT8. I mean, oh! <laughs> yeah, that's quite a good question for the day, guys. What was your favourite scene in Breaking Bad? Now, I know a lot of you guys um, are going to say that one. That is a, that's probably mine. Well, my favourite car scene, at least, because we all know that Pontiac, Pontiac Aztec was the star of the show. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> not. Not. <coughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, imagine if that thing actually went on auction, how much do you think they would get back for that? Because I know in the actual like TV series, Walter sells it to a guy for like 50 bucks. So, <laughs> imagine if they actually sell it because Brian Cranston actually driven it. That would be so cool if it got like 15 grand or 20 grand back, maybe more. Guess that makes you the new owner. Don't feel bad, that car was miles out of his league. 
We'll give it a good home, though. Oh, yes, Luda. Oh, yes, we're going to be giving it a good home. Whoop, whoop. We got the challenger. Whoop, okay, whoop. This the is Sandra the police. I don't know what the fuck he said there. Bring it back to the garage, man. Got to bring it back to the garage. Now, let me know in the comments below, guys, what subjects do you want me to talk about for the first episode of the week now? That is going to be going up tomorrow. I cannot wait for it, guys, because it's going to be my vlogging series, which I'll let you guys know uh, about stuff that's been happening during the week and uh, stuff that I've been found interesting. So let's see this chal. I was going to say challenger, charger. <laughs> God damn, man. Only if this was the Hellcat. Only if this was the Hellcat. You know what I think they've done? I think they're teasing us. I think they're teasing us with this Fast and Furious pack for the Hellcats. Because this is the standard Charger RT. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad car, but we all want the Hellcat. Um, including the Challenger one now. We brought in the new 2015 Challenger as well. Now, we all know that there's going to be one more DLC, I believe. One more DLC after the Fast and Furious pack. It might not be in April, it might be in May. So, fingers freaking crossed for the Hellcats. But for the time being, these are really, really nice. The 2015 Dodge Charger. Modern muscle at its finest. Modern muscle at its finest. American V8 motor. Cars acquired 6 out of 10. Hell yeah. Now before we go guys, today I just want to hear this puppy actually freaking bark or roar, whatever the hell a puppy does. <laughs> Depends on what fucking puppy, if it's a, if it's a freaking, what you call it? Uh, bull terrier. It will sound like, but if it's like a freaking Doberman, oh my god, you better fucking run. <laughs> oh, it sounds good. It sounds really, really good. I mean, I don't know how it sounds compared to like the other charger, but it sounds good. And them rims, man. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're really, really nice. But anyway, guys, I'm going to run this episode off here for part Four? I think this is part four of Fast and Furious expansion pack for Forza Horizon 2. Uh, it could be said the other way around, but yeah, fuck it, I said it like that. But anyway, guys, in the next episode, we are going to be trying to get that McLaren P1 and hopefully the other cars in the pack as well. So we're going to be driving the Dodge Charger in the next one and whatever we unlock along the way. Cannot wait for the Maserati Ghibli though, that's going to be awesome. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, then please do leave it a like and subscribe if you're brand new. <laughs> but yeah, see you in the next part guys. Thank you so much for watching and peace.